Yeah, pretty nice shot of the river there, huh? Head in here and see what we can get. You can see how high these banks are. I'm 20 foot up above the river. And this is cut in half, and that's what I'm looking, the stuff that's falling out of this. Look, right on a point above the river. That's why I'm finding stuff. I'll get back on my finds later. Yeah, it's pretty froze up in here today. I'm gonna walk down further, but this is the worst it's been. The shore's even kind of froze. I'll be able to sift in the water still. It got down to zero last night. That's why it's been the coldest day. Yeah, this is like walking in a slush cane, a snow cane. Hopefully it's unthawed down further. This is what I'm doing. I was hurrying up and looking at this because there's a barge out here coming by right now and it's going to throw waves up on this, but there's a nice wash. And I'll carry my shovel around and if I see a flake, I flip it with my shovel. I think I have a point on my shovel. It was laying right in here. I scooped it up. I didn't know it was a point. I'm trying to look this real quick before the water gets muddied up. We'll go look at that point here in just a second. This looks real good. Um, I'll get back, we'll look at the point. I gotta hurry so waves don't hit my shovel. Hold on. Come back up here. The point's on my shovel. I got it, it was right here in the water. I just scooped it up so I don't have to stick my hands in the water. It's right here. I don't know if that's a point or not. It kind of looked like a Madison. It is, but it has one minute tip ding. Or ding on the corner. Man, that's a shame. It's a little Madison walking in here. That's too bad. That's got damage. Later. Well, here's that little triangle. It's a little thicker than normal. And it's got that little base neck there. Would have been a decent one though. Frameable. You can see on this side it's got the basal thinning to facilitate hafting. It's a true bow and arrow projectile. Shot off a little bow. Later. Well, right where I found that last Amos knife in my last video, right there's a base off another Amos. Real polished Crooksville church snapped right off right there. That would have been, oh, that would have been a nice one. Man, later. Now this is still where I found that last real nice Amos knife in my last video, which I'll put up at the end. I'm still sifting this spot and stuff just keeps coming. We got another heartbreaker right here. It's a tip. It's probably a tip off another Amos. It's Black Canola shirt. It's either an Amos or a Kirk. You can start to see the corner notch right there. That would have been a beauty. Man, heartbreaker. Alright, here's this base. That's Brush Creek shirt. And it's real heavily polished. You can see the polishing on it right there. It's just polished like a big sandy base or a Clovis base would be. And that's another base to an Amos. It would have been a scorcher. And here's the tip. This is some of the stuff I've been finding right in this area. There's jaspers. There's a green and red piece of jasper. There's another flake of jasper. Um, all these flakes. Little flake blades. Um, but there's the tip. That's probably a tip off a of kirk. Um, here's a section out of a point. The edge of one. But you see, the stuff I've been finding on this spot not this, that's a different spot. But all of this stuff's related. It's all been found. Take this out and this out. All of this stuff, plus these breaking points, were found within strides of each other. Now look at this stuff. Look at the similarity between, with this spur on this base, this notch, and like this notch compared to like some of this other stuff. Like the notch on the side of this knife here is the same as this. It's squared off. They're all ground bases. They all came out of the, the bank in the same place. Little Amos point, these curved knives, a classic Amos point. You know, if you didn't know what an Amos point was, that looks like a dovetail, doesn't it? Like you could find in a field in Kentucky. And that point kind of looks like a fish spear, but it is not. It's one of these that's just been sharpened down into a drill. You can see, you can really see there what this does. This also came from right there with this stuff. Now what does that look like? It looks like a real old site, doesn't it? Kirky looking stuff, Amos related, right there. All of that within like 10 yards of each other, all rated from one fire pit out of the bank this month. Hope you're enjoying. Find a nice one in this one. Later. 
Yeah, I just picked this up walking down to another place right in this gravel. I haven't found nothing here for a long time, but that's a flake knife. You can see it's a little blade look like deal. It ain't bad. Right up. All right, this is what I'm doing today. I break some ice out of here. There's a nice layer down in here. I'll show you in my screen. I'm right at the bottom of the slant of the stuff that's washed out of the bank, right on the plateau where the stuff settles. And there's a nice layer in here. I'll show you here. I'll do three or four screens and show you, or shovelfuls and show you what's in the screen. Well, just hold on. I'll fill this up and we'll screen it down and I'll show you what I'm doing. Let up cracked up fired rock this is what it looks like see all of it red little fragments that was a huge piece all broke up and there's flakes in here too I don't see many in this one but I'm getting some nice flakes in previous screens um, there's one right there a little gray finishing flake from the manufacturer of an ancient artifact right there little pressure flake this looks good. I have a shot. Any time I can sift with this tool, this sifter, um, out here in these you know, on the right spots, and it's not froze, I'm gonna probably find something or have a good shot at it. But this is what I'm doing today. I've dug all of this out right here. It's horrible cold. I was about ready to give up, but I'm finding flakes of flint, and I haven't even got this all the way sifted down, and I see an awesome blunt. Oh, it looks nice. I couldn't tell what it was for a minute. Got ice. I haven't even looked at the rest of this. I found some pentagonals right in here. I was going back to where I found all that old stuff, but it's just free solid. I can't dig. So I'm on a pentagonal site. And look at this for my pentagonal frame. You see it? Man, on a day like today, it's like 10 degrees right now. It's going to warm up to like 19 or so, but you know, I'm looking for airheads and I'm finding them. Cool stuff. Right there's a flake, look at that, with a lightning line in it. A flake from the manufacturer of ancient artifacts. Let me wipe this screen. Get a little fog before I pick this up. But man, this looks nice, folks. I don't find many blunts. You see it? It's two-toned flint. Look at this. Oh, man, that is absolutely spectacular for a blunt. Look at that color. Holy mackerel. You know, that's hafted. And that's a little scraper. See the like chisel tip on it? Oh, that's nice, folks. Very awesome. All right. That's about the nicest blunt you could ask for. Look at that color and that chipping. That color is amazing. Beautiful piece. Later. All right, here's this little blunt. It would be brown jasper, river cobble jasper that this is made out of. It's nice material. It's two-toned. And you see that green, kind of hunter green. Here's another variation of it with the red. And that's clearly jasper. Here's a flake of, of it. And there's pieces from, you know, looking on the river this week. But that is a nice blunt. And you can see it's not really rounded. It's more of a straight one. And it just looks like a chisel, ain't it? You can see this on a little, this would have had a little handle on it. I'll put up some pictures of what it would have looked like. You could have hit that with a billet and that would have made wood bowls, all of that. 6,000 year old chisel tip right there. You can see it. They scrape tides with these two, but this isn't one for hot scraping. That's beautiful. Hope you're enjoying. Later. All right, here's what this piece is. It's a pentagonal knife. Um, you can see it. It's right on. And these people made pentagonals, and I've looked at this site for decades. I've found lots of them like this. And associated with these points, you can see they're mid-archaic. Um, 6,500 to 4,000 years before present. I see this being about 6,000 years old. Little chisel blunt. But that's the knife form. And then you come over here, I find these there. But there's several forms of Burton's. I've found lots of these Burton side notches here. And I think these other things, other pentagonal forms are the knives. And this is definitely a little tool. And here's the projectiles those people threw with the Addo Addles. You see it kind of overlaps in time. And this is what was going on on the site. I've found many of these right in there. The pentagonal knives like I showed on that other page. And... 
blunts that look just like this made by them people and end scrapers too and other little flake tools and there was a mid arcade site there nice point little more explanation later I found here cut him up a bunch of apple little bites he likes them in bites he's having him apple but yeah, it's the next day I found multiple broken artifacts over there the river yesterday I'm gonna go out to a spot today and see if I can't come up with something working on a video this is how it goes um, and there's my pet squirrel I had to feed him before I left I'll get back on the river He's a good boy. I would have said you him getting his milk treats. He wasn't wanting it at first, but he drank four or five big eyedroppers full with his calcium supplement and he's all dried off. Tell him you're a good boy.